Hey y'all, today I am in the kitchen and I am going to be making chocolate raspberry sauce. It combines two of my favorite things, which is chocolate and raspberry, obviously. This is a very easy recipe that you can find in your ball canning book. I like to use my chocolate raspberry sauce on vanilla ice cream, on cheesecake, in some plain yogurt, and even some in oatmeal. I will sometimes take some whipped cream and mix a little bit of the chocolate raspberry sauce into it to make an icing for cake. So you can use this for many things, even putting it on a sandwich like a peanut butter and chocolate raspberry sauce sandwich if you want, or on biscuits. So let me show you what I've got and let's get started making it. So this recipe calls for a half a cup of unsweetened cocoa. A package of pectin, just a normal regular pectin, four and a half cups of crushed red raspberries, which I use these frozen raspberries, which is a 12 ounce package. And by the time I have put them through my Ninja, which you might have a food processor, and I get four cups. These are still kind of frozen, but I'm going to put them through the Ninja. It also calls for four tablespoons of lemon juice and six and three quarters cup of sugar. So let's make the chocolate raspberry syrup. So the first thing we're going to do is mix the pectin with our cocoa. There's a half a cup of cocoa. I'm gonna mix those together. And you're gonna set this aside. Now I'm going to put my raspberries in my ninja. packages. Now we're going to blend the raspberries to crush them. good enough. You can also use fresh raspberries, by the way. I just like to use these frozen ones because I can buy them, put them in my freezer, which you can do it with fresh ones too, but I can just put these in my freezer. And then when I'm ready to make it, pull them out. Now I'm going to put my raspberries in my pan. And I already have my jars and lids sterilized. Those are over there waiting on a towel for me. All right, so there's our ras crushed raspberries. Now we're gonna add in our four tablespoons of lemon juice. One, two, three, and four. Mix that together. Easier if your raspberries are not frozen like mine. <laughs> now 
Now we're going to add the cocoa and pectin to the mixture. And we are going to bring this to a boil over high heat. You have not put your sugar in yet. Now bring this to a boil over high heat. Because it's on high heat, you want to keep stirring it. You don't want it to scorch on the bottom. I'm going to put a pat of butter in here to keep any foam from forming, which once I have put the sugar in, it won't happen now, but once I put the sugar in, the butter prevents a lot of foam from forming. It does not change the flavor. We want a full rolling boil. Not one that stirs down like I did, like when I stir it, it goes away. All right, now we're going to add our sugar. Since I'm using my back burner, it's kind of hard to get it back there. that all in. Bring it to a full boil again. Once it's back to a full boil, you're going to boil for one minute. Keep stirring it until it starts boiling again. Still waiting for it to start boiling again so we can start our timer for one minute. It's almost there. For those of you that are into prepping and you're like looking for things to store because of grocery shortages and you're wondering, well, what can I do with chocolate raspberry sauce? Trust me, history proves that chocolate is in high demand when there's rationing at the stores. So you'll want to add this to your pantry because it's a good barter item. All right, it's boiling again. I'm gonna set my timer for one minute. I'm gonna get my jars over here ready to label into.
Okay, now we're going to ladle it into our jars. It's very hot. I'm gonna bring it over here closer. I'm gonna leave a quarter inch head space. This does not always make six jars for the record. Just depends on how many raspberries are in there. And because I don't really measure my raspberries, I just use two packages. It's just best guess on how many jars it's gonna be. I might actually get six, I might actually not get six. suspected. I did not get six full jars. I have a little bit left for my last jar. We'll just keep this one in the refrigerator. Now we're going to clean our rims so that our lids will sit on there right. I'm using vinegar. You can use water or vinegar. These jars are hot. You might want to hold them with a pot holder. Because I made a mess with a couple of these, I'm probably going to do these twice. I'm going to put a little bit more in this one. If you don't clean your rims real good, you won't get a, a good seal and your foods will spoil. We do not want that. So it's worth the time to make sure, especially when you're using sugar, sugar's so sticky, um, that you get them good and clean. I'm going to go ahead and wipe this one off just because. We're going to put our lids on and our rings. Don't over tighten them. The lid is just there. The rim is just there to keep the lid in place so the lid can seal. That's what I thought. I accidentally dipped that one in. Wipe that off. Put the lid on. Now we are going to put these in the water bath canner for 10 minutes. 
the 10 minutes starts once it starts to boil. So I'm going to wait for it to start boiling and then I'll set my timer for 10 minutes. And after 10 minutes, I'm gonna take it out, put it on my towel. My pot holder came up. There you go. Chocolate raspberry sauce. They should start pinging any minute now. That's how you make chocolate raspberry sauce. Thank you guys for watching and if you haven't already, please subscribe.